up guys, it's Pilly with a video here with regards to the new DLC Awakening patch Not Awakening patch, sorry, the DLC Alright, and the sort of, the big update that we had with regards to multiplayer um, And sort of the, the, the buffs and stuff like that that have sort of been introduced into the game Alright, so we'll have a little chat about that within the comment area today So the first thing that I sort of noticed within the multiplayer was um, Pretty quick was the Argus, the shotgun um, That was already quite an overpowered weapon then I jumped on uh, well it was the first time I'd ever played on the nuke not nuke jack sorry um, thinking about black ops PC there um, it was on the skyjacked map and like I sort of got kind of destroyed by everything sort of from all, all directions but the first thing I noticed was the Argus was just pretty much killing each other well we sort of were having gunfights me and this other one person from like each side of the map just running around with it constant um, I may more than likely bring a gameplay video of that because it did seem to be pretty overpowered as I did see within the patch notes for the new version of um, well the new patch that they brought out obviously for Black Ops 3 um, that it had increased damage or range it was one of the two um, so we'll sort of maybe have a look at that in a video there as well um, and this gameplay you're watching is a domination match on um, Rise. Um, it only lasted about five minutes because the game got cut off, but the gameplay itself wasn't too bad. I think I ran about 30 and 30 and eight or something with regards to kills to deaths, and um, we more than likely would have won the game if the game didn't just black screen on me. Um, I think I, I think I did get an error from the PlayStation itself. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit of an interesting one. Like I've been noticing a few errors and stuff since the patch was out. Um, with regards to sort of crashing things like that, but all in all, it's it's been absolutely fine. Um, the only one map I haven't played yet is the the water park map. Um, can't pronounce it off the top of my head because I really haven't played a lot of the DLC from sort of what I've experienced so far from it. It's it's, it's pretty decent. Um, the one thing I haven't played yet is zombies. Um, I was never a huge fan of the original Black Ops 3 zombies when that was introduced onto the game. Um, I was a huge fan of Black Ops 2 zombies. Like I played all of it. My favourite one was the Alcatraz map, and um, that was really fun. And I haven't really sort of getting around to having a look at the new zombies map yet. Um, so another thing that I did notice within the multiplayer was it's either that everyone who has the DLC packs, such as like the season pass, either is really high leveled or sort of really under leveled. But um, what I've what I've noticed is that it feels like we're back to skill based matchmaking with regards to sort of you know what I mean like getting sort of kills and general gameplay of the game. Um, it, it feels it feels like the, the multiplayer experiences went a little bit more difficult. I don't know if that would either be sort of maybe something patched when the game the connection anything like that. Cause I did sort of notice a little bit lag and sort of a few things like that. Um, when the patch was sort of um, first introduced into the game itself, um, I did struggle to play a bit. I don't know if it was just lag or anything like that, but um, the gameplay did did feel a bit unusual um, compared to what it was like sort of before before patch because um, I've got the game as well on PC um, and also obviously the PS4 and I did jump onto that and the game felt a lot more smooth I'd, obviously I, I'm not going to say obviously that's because I'm over 60 FPS on a on a PC there but um, it was a bit of, bit of I don't know I think it was just something within the game that I had to take a little bit sort of to get used to again um, and also the other thing that I did notice um, was the new hit marker system when you're shooting enemies and if you don't kill them and it sort of has that white little sort of cross appears or like on like Modern Warfare 2 as such when you get hit markers um, I'm not a huge fan of that and also I don't like um, what's it is inside the kill cams and also the final kill cams when you hear the gun shoot and only thing you hear is the gun shooting it's sort of not not really that nice <laughs> doesn't really seem seem like an effect I think it sort of needs needs a bit of update and I think that was a bit rushed into the game um, and lol this part of the gameplay was quite unlucky <laughs> um, so anyway like that's just my general thoughts and opinion so far from what I've seen um, with regards to sort of the, the gameplay itself and how the game is running after the big patch um, took me about an hour and a half to download the DLC so I did end up getting a little bit late um, so anyway we'll leave it as that over right, guys so if he's um, so I like the content at all. This is one of the first commentaries I've done in a while. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. All right, catch you guys in the next video. Man.